Leo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling some messages or a final message from your beautiful angels. Now... What we're seeing is that you may need a little bit of help in whatever situation that you find yourself um, struggling with the most or stressing with the most. There may need to be some um, awareness being brought in of maybe uh, something you need to learn or a coach, you know, some form of um, mm, service or again, partnership or just something that's going to bring forward more confidence for yourself. Never feel like you have to do something alone. You can always, uh, you know, hire somebody or, um, and, and this isn't something that you have to go out and seek, by the way. This is, again, something that the universe will gift to you, will bring forward for you, right? You may even be receiving somebody coming in that's going to help you in whatever situation you're requiring help with, help in creating that new version of yourself that you really want to create, right? It's like if we want to lose weight and reach our fitness goals, it's like hiring a coach is so helpful because they're always there with us, supporting us. And then that way, if you ever have any questions or you just feel really low, you have someone there. So it's the same thing with like AA, you know what I mean? It's like we have a support system. We have a team, we have help. And so know that if you need help or if you're feeling, you know, stuck somewhere, uh, you can always kind of reach your energy out to the universe. Say, look, and you know, universe, can you please help me, guide me on this, whether I need help, coach, or something? Can you please illuminate what I'm missing? Something like that. That's how the universe will always help us. Um, we see here that, okay, so, so this is a new chapter, right? You're looking for difference, right? You're looking for, you're looking for change, right? You're looking for that growth. You're looking for that rebirth. This is that time. This is that time. So what's going to happen in order, uh, what's going to happen is this, as you uh, change your frequency, as you evolve your frequency. So here's where you are, you are, excuse me, and you're evolving upwards, right? So there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. There's going to be a lot of things you haven't experienced before. So there's going to be a lot of self-doubt. There's going to be a lot of, you know, fear on this journey. And if it's going to uh, pan out the way that you want it to, right? And the name of the game for us in these moments is to I'll always understand that as you start a new journey, your only obligation is to be aligned. Do I have it here? Well, we're going to go with this message. So is to be aligned with the intention you've set. So the end result you've been looking for. So you see the King of Pentacles, right? Sits very comfortably um, in his chair, on his throne. He's got lots of money. He's got the experience. He's got the family. He's done it all, seen it all. He's gone through the experience. And that's why he's the most abundant king in the deck, right? They're the most abundant being and energy because of the experience, right? And so with Eagle Spirit paired beside the King of Pentacles, it's the inclination and the reminder that you have the ability to take your life from where you are into whatever you choose it to be. But that's not an overnight process. It's a slow, methodical, day-by-day -day process. And, um, you know, there's always going to be different chapters that uh, allow you to evolve through different things. So that's why we're saying don't be too hard on yourself at this time. Just go through the data collection process and just be aware and observe and what's going on and what your soul kind of gravitates towards, what you like, what you don't like. But don't get too caught up in the exact, exact nature of that thing. The surface, if you will. Right? It's like be more conscious to the energetic feeling of how something feels and how something's making you feel. Right? But always first, before you, before you kind of observe your feeling state, Know the person that you wish to become. Like know what you, your, your kind of a, a guidelines, if you will, of your intended desire, right? Because when you know where you're headed, then it's easier to observe what we're seeing and putting it into context, right? And, and really right now, it's not so much again about staying stuck with the what is. It's just about allowing the universe's organic process of data collection and observation to kind of flow you forward. And just observe, because again, if you're feeling stuck somewhere, 
you know, maybe having reaching out your energy to receiving help in some way, in some form would give you that extra boost, that extra confidence boost. We feel like maybe you might feel a little bit frightened or fearful uh, in regards to asking for help. And this is where we would want to remind you, beautiful soul, that that fear from asking for help would only come from an ego perspective. And we want to remind you that if you need help and you feel like your life would be more benefited from that help, then definitely reach out for that help. Now, remember, the help that you receive and the help that you attract in is going to be aligned with the frequency that you feel and are aligned with currently. Meaning that if you're in a fear-based mode and you need help, you might want to consider raising your frequency before putting out, before looking for that help or before asking for that help. So what that would mean is that if you're ever looking for something or wanting something, but you don't feel very good while you're wanting that thing, like if you feel low, you feel sad, depressed, overwhelmed, frustrated, those uh, emotions are the inclination that your frequency is low and you would wanna, again, raise your frequency, raise your feeling state, connect to more of an energy of joy. And that might mean that you have to disconnect from this situation entirely altogether, focus and, and immerse yourself in energies that feel much better, something that feels more rewarding for yourself, and then from that higher feeling vibrational place, then seek out and put your feelers, feelers out there for whatever help or partnership you're requiring. And that might not be a, a, a couple hour thing, that might be a couple day thing, like for a couple days you might wanna set this aside and go and raise your frequency for a few days, let that build up, right? And then you can expect the good stuff. Now we also, again, with this two of cups in reverse is the desire of wanting love or desi the desire of wanting partnership. And we can tell you that that partnership is coming in with that ace of cups, that love is coming in with that ace of cups. Again, right? Know that this, right? You always have the ability to attract in a partner for you, but it completely depends on how open you are on open to receiving, right? And so that's why we want you right now, write this down in the comments below, Leo. I am open to receiving, okay? Just write this and then get creative with this, right? So the universe doesn't want you to put, just do what comes to mind. Could be, I'm open to receiving love. I'm open to receiving money. I'm open to receiving soulmate. I'm open to receiving uh, guidance, clarity, right? But write this down. And this is a good way to start any journal entry because I'm open to receiving and then whatever you're looking for in that moment, and then just kind of sit with yourself, breathe into your heart, and then just start writing. That's automatic writing, and that will be your spirit guides coming through for you, and that really helps. Another message that's come forward here is the sync with the moon card. So uh, start to get in the habit. This could be another journal practice. Um, so I'm open to receiving, and then you could even open your journal entry with dis um, seeing or discovering what moon phase we are in, because that will indicate um, a lot about how your energy is also feeling, right? So sometimes we're in like a rebuild, phase sometimes we're in a resting phase sometimes we're in a chill phase it just depends on the moon's cycles and energies so kind of connecting to that will also help you discover just more about yourself and more about how to better read your energy and as, as we know everything is energetic here so we really don't want to look at the label of something or the surface of something we want to energetically feel out it's almost like if you see like a really raging barking dog well Energetically, if you tuned into that dog's energy, you would sense that they're terrified, right? They're absolutely terrified. And that would then ease your energy and let them know that you would just want them to feel safe, right? It's the same thing, right? So kind of look at everything, uh, not so much surface, but really read the energy. So again, if you're trying to define something or figure something out or, or get something, but you're not getting the answers or the clarity or attracting in the outcome of your desire, well, it just indicates that you would wanna, again, raise your frequency before trying to figure that thing out, all right? So um, again, and that's just gonna be validated there. We also pulled the five of cups and the two of wands in reverse. So if you're having a hard time deciding or figuring out, it's most likely because your frequency is, uh, again, low, um, most likely because you've been thinking or in your awareness is the fact that you haven't had what you wanted to, what you, what you wanted ever before, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just usually our mind is in the past instead of progression and on purpose. Never try to figure something out in your life, Leo, unless you're in a place where you really never try to figure anything out. There's no need. Everything will just come to us. It will just flow into our lives. So if we're trying to ever figure something out and it's not coming, it's an indication to drop that thing, go raise your frequency doing something you love, and then the thing that you're looking for, the clarity, will come back to you. Your angel message for today is ask. So your angel message is... 
Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to, be, go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So ask your angels and it will help you be more in the flow of things as opposed to trying to figure it out for yourself. And remember, when you're in energetic, when you're in frequency upgrades and and you're moving energy and stuff, depending on if it's a new frequency we're feeling or if it's something that is familiar, you're gonna experience different energetic either crashes or feelings around that. So again, everything we just want you to observe, right? Just observe. And if right now love is what you're looking, uh, wanting to attract in, which by the way, it is here for you, Remember, it's always about the degree of how openness you are to receiving it, right? So that's going to be where uh, your, your journey starts there. So we love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.